All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Valhelzia 3 with your boy Super Turtle here. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Let's go ahead and get this farty parted. Don't look at that. We'll get to that later. Anyways, I want to show you guys some upgrades that I've done around the base since off camera. I uh, came down here, and if we look over to our right, as you can see, we've upgraded all of these uh, to the red tier version. They give us a whole bunch more of these slots to go ahead and start infusing into kind of out of diamonds so it's kind of on hold over here uh but pretty cool you know that's been that's been set up I've, I've made the room look pretty i don't know if i've showed you guys this yet uh but i also went ahead here and upgraded these guys up to the to the red the red tier as well this one's just out of green so it's just the the, the compressing factory with osmium oh uh, yeah so pretty cool oh wait you wanted to see this oh 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 the uh the ultimate enriching factory and ultimate smelter hmm so check it out. Um, if you look under here, you can see an exporter from Refined Storage. Yes, I did go ahead and run a cable all the way down here from our, our system here. I figured I wouldn't show it off camera because I've done it so many times in my other videos. Um, and if you if you don't know, all you do is just run one of those, those uh, Refined Storage cables and you just put an importer and exporter on them. And like this one's just run under here. If we go beneath, uh, yeah. Oh, that's cool, by the way, I can hide it. Um, yeah, if you go here, this is the cable. So as you can see, it just kind of books it over. Pretty neato Toledo. I keep forgetting that's there. It's pretty neat. Uh, don't worry about that just yet. Um, so yeah, went ahead and made that that fix there. Um, the room the room here is looking pretty cool. Uh, have the charger set up over here to charge our atomic disassembler, and yeah, so that's been that's been a pretty cool thing. Uh, let's go on upstairs. Uh, so I was originally just gonna I was originally just gonna push this out. We were gonna have it go down. As you look up in the mini map over here, you can see the long tower. Our long pathway but i've gone ahead and we've made this here also went ahead and upgraded all these to the elite universal cable just the next tier up um so yeah this is uh above our our, our spawn thing over our base over here uh kind of overlooks our little area that we've got going on here it's still looking pretty good uh looking really good and then back here guys this is where we're going to be working today um from the title of the video you're probably going oh yep we're getting into some reactor stuff from mechanism now i've never done this myself uh so i don't know if by the end of this episode if we are going to have a reactor but we are going to get everything in the process to set one up now um one more thing i did want to talk to you guys about before is i've noticed that some of the quantum and and, and tropolers these guys keep disappearing i mean i keep having to craft them up um, so if these things disappear on me again, uh, I'm just going to replace them in creative. I'm sick and tired of crafting these up because they are stupid expensive. Um, yeah, so if, if, if one more of these things despawn, they're just going to get right in creative. Make that there. Just want to let you guys know so you guys aren't like, where did you get that? I'd be like, I spawned it in because I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead here. We're going to need to get a thermal evaporation controller. We have everything we need except the thermal evaporation dudes. Um, okay, so we're gonna grab this coal. We're gonna grab this iron. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna convert two of these. Um, is this our, where's our coal boy? Carbon here, okay. So these two in the middle, these are gonna be our carbon dudes. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set this so that we can go ahead and start processing this. Auto sort is on, uh, and it will push the items out the bottom. Items output to eject on, and then it comes into here and gets gets done ski. Cool, and so that way we come here, we just have steel. All I need to do is start throwing iron into there, which isn't a difficult thing, but it is very slow. We will go ahead and fix that. Just made up some energy upgrades and some speed upgrades. We are getting really far along in our world here, and I'm excited about that. Able to just craft things whenever we want. It's great. All right, so I have kind of automated this uh, steel production a little bit. So as you can see, it gets it gets put out. Oh, it, how, how, why would it get put out? Oh yeah, because there's a pipe coming all the way over here, uh, and we're smelting up steel. So now we've made our steel production like through the roof. <laughs> oh man, this is actually really cool. I'm not gonna lie, I am thoroughly enjoying a mechanism right now, uh, but it seems to be going through a lot of coal. Uh, so we'll just leave those in there. Yeah, look at that. Boom. 
But yeah, so we got all the steel being made. So steel is not an issue anymore. I know you guys suggested that way of doing it earlier. And I was like, yeah, but I, I want to do it my own way because I'm an idiot. So we're going to have to go ahead and make up two of these. So that should be enough. Let's go ahead here, here. Okay, so we have the two, these guys that we need. Now we're just going to be making uh, lithium here. And then to make the lithium, we need brine, which you get from just water. So we're going to, our next step is to go ahead and set up quite a few of these, actually. Okay. One, what was the top thing? A bucket. Okay. Oh, and then we need the redstone thing. Cool. So I have, oh, we're down here. We're up here. Oh, we're over here. Okay, so we got some power ran up here into the room, which is very cool. We can go ahead and move the light real quick. All right, so we I did go ahead and make a sink here. We have uh, some ultimate mechanical pipes. These are going to be the fastest way we can, like, I guess, get the fluid out. Uh, so what we're just going to do here is we're going to go like this. Um, we're going to put the sink here, I guess. And then this should... Is this side specific? Let's have a look. Wait. Hold Shift N. Shift N. Controller for a thermal acting as the master block of the structure. Only one of these should be placed on a multi. Oh, so we need a multi block structure for this. Okay, give me one moment. Okay, so we're just going to actually put this into the wall. Uh, we need to go quite a few back here, and it's going to be an even number okay so the bottom is filled in like this actually not that far now i believe there are different ways to make this it's kind of this kind of reminds me of the um the smell trees from tinker's construct but we don't have that here um and i did make two drains i think i'm just gonna go do actually i'm gonna need to do two and then we're also gonna need to make two of these Okay, for now, we will break this wall between these two guys. All right, so the, the controller here, boom. That seemed to work pretty well. That seemed to work pretty well. We're actually just going to break that. We're going to put two more valves there. I didn't think this all the way through. Need a valve to get in and a valve to get out. And these both require power, so we just need two more of these guys. It's no issue. Okay, so let's go ahead here. Move on through to the other side. All right. Boom, boom. Yep, these have both these both worky. All right. Um. Okay, I actually think we should just be able to set this up now. It says it runs on the. The, the environment so it might be a little bit slower we could uh, upgrade this here shortly uh, but let's go ahead do this it's in the wrong mode configure eight items okay okay we are in fact making brine very cool so brine brine is being pumped over here we're getting liquid lithium over here. Very cool. So I guess we can add solar panels in a way to make this faster. Um, yeah, so we just add solar panels to each of the corners, but we would need to set these up outside somewhere. So we're just going to leave that in here unless we like really need it to get out. Um, okay, so this is the lithium worked out, uh, which is good, which is very good. Got 11 mil buckets of liquid lithium. <laughs> oh, this is going to take a minute. <laughs> Might need to get a few of these running. So let's just go ahead and fill this back in. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. And then we'll go ahead. We're going to make a, a tank for the liquid lithium to go in for now, just so we can go, go hey, we have the liquid lithium. Ah, that would have been cool. But we just have the elite fluid tank here. These are very useful for immersive engineering, if you guys are wondering. All right, I'm going to put that there. 
not you, but you. And then we can figure this one to pull out. Liquid lithium is in there. Very cool. Very, very cool. Look at that. Water goes in. Liquid lithium comes out. Um, yeah. So let's see about let's see about adding in a solar panel here real quick. Because it, it looks like it should be pretty easy. So the solar just looks like that it just makes it a little, little bit uh, not so solar. Okay, look at that. We made a total of four of them. Oh, shoot. Do I need to make these guys? I do. I do. I do. I do. <sighs> ah. Okay. All right. So let's see here if this helps us out at all. Uh, I think we have to run outside real quick. Uh, we should. Yes, yeah, so it looks like we need to break this corner block. I didn't switch it back from vein mining. I feel like a noob. That was a big doof. Oh wait, I didn't do that right. Okay, so let's see if that helps at all. Because we might be able to just like, I guess, pump heat into it. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. Here, have some heat. It's healthy to eat. I tell him, I'm telling you, it's not a treat. I'm just gonna shut up. Okay, so it is definitely going up here. Um, how are we doing? Ooh, look at all that brine. So the issue is here that this one is too slow. <gasps> Let's speed that one up. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and clear out a bunch of land behind there so we can go ahead and get a whole bunch, like quite a few more solar panels back there. All right, so it turns out I had to move the, uh, the one on the right here over by one. I'll show you guys why. Because uh, when you put the solar panels on, um, there's an issue where they overlap and you can't place them. And so I just had to go ahead and clear all this stuff out. We're going to go ahead and kind of beautify this. Hopefully we can blend this in so it doesn't look so bad from the outside. Uh, but we'll do that eventually after progress has been finalized. Um, but let's go ahead and clear this or fill that back in. And as you can see, we are getting a lot more lithium here. We're getting, look at that. Look at all that lithium. Look at that. Look at all this. Look at all this stuff. It's, it's going hotter and hotter. Um, let's just use some water, pump it into there, then get pumped into here. Look at this. We have 10 buckets of lithium already. Very, very cool. All right, so the solar neutron activator here, I believe is something we want. Yeah, it turns lithium into tritium. Uh, so our next project is getting this bad boy. So it looks like we're just gonna need a few of those items. Oh no. We need an HDPE sheet. Ugh. I didn't think this far ahead, I'm sorry. <sighs> Oxygen and flowing. Biofuel. This has added a lot of stuff to our... Okay, so we're going to get everything else going. Uh, and then that's not good anymore. Oh, this is not ending up well. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Okay. Let's go ahead. Oof, this one's still slow, boy. Cool. Okay, so we have a, looks like a full stack of those guys. Very cool. Go ahead and throw them in there. Okay. So then we need bronze. And bronze made from tin and copper. Not a very difficult thing to make. Copper here. Tin here. All right, so that's making up the copper. Let's go ahead and start the process of making the HDPDBE sheets. So this is what we want here. Um, enrichment chamber. Requires three. Okay, so we're definitely going to be using the enrichment chamber for these, but we need this guy, which means we need this guy, which means we need this guy. Okay. That's simple. That's simple. Okay, so we need one more of these, which is just osmium in the system. The ready system. All right, there we go. Come on over here. All right, pressurized reaction chamber. Perfect. Now we need oxygen, which we get from our electrolytic separator. I uh, should just be able to, wait, what was the other guy? Okay, so we don't need that here anymore. Substrate. Okay, so it looks like we're actually gonna need a second one of these. So let's go ahead and just make that real quick. All right, so we got the two of these that we need. Perfect. 
Uh, yeah, we'll just put them up here. We should probably bring like a crafting grid up here. Wouldn't be a bad idea. So you're there, you're there, perfect. Okay, okay, so with that out of the picture, let's go ahead and work on this substrate here. So we need hydrogen, water, and hydrogen. Okay, so that should actually be pretty easy. Just make one of these again. It does require gold. Duh. We need to move the, uh, the digital miner so that we can go ahead and get this bad boy process back up. So we are actually gonna run power over to here, gonna come up from here, cut underneath. Perfect, that ended up being like the right amount. Okay, we'll leave this one open as well for when we put that there. Okay, so the electrolytic separator, um, we're just gonna put here. We're also gonna need to go ahead and grab another water barrel or water sink that's the word oh man this video is gonna need so much editing it's not even funny all right got our sink here we're gonna put it up top actually we didn't find, didn't find where put it. um wait does that really work <gasps> it does okay so this is working here we're getting our ox y gen all right very cool Ox, Y, Gen, right. Hydrogen, water. That's all that needs to be in here. Hydrogen, water. <gasps> Look at that. We got it, guys. Okay, so we're going to get these pressurized um, conduit. Pressurized tubes so we can get the gas out of there. Because hydrogen, I forgot, is kind of a gas. <gasps> don't remind me, okay? I understand. Uh, we're going to go uses. We don't want the basic ones. Uh, yeah, that should be okay for what we're doing here. I don't need the, the best of the best. Because the best around, nothing ever going to keep you down. Okay, so if we go like this, bam. Where is it? Um, there it is. Look at that. It's working. Hydrogen. And then we just expand this over. We get water. Now we just, oh, yeah. System mode set up. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. All right. So now that that has been set up for this, we just need some biofuel. Um, so that means we need to get a crusher set up. Uh, so many things to do, mechanism. All right. So we got the crusher here. So let's go ahead. We might need to set up a, a way to do this, which would be pretty neat. Um, hmm. Well, for now, I think we just do this. I don't have any gold. <gasps> oh, wait. Got an idea. I don't have silk touch. Just have fortune. <sighs> the nether is just really annoying now. It's like not scary. It's just like really annoying. Let's see if we can get this to work. Stop, reset, config, uh, new filter, tag. What if we did gold? Yes. I think it's working. It should be set to silk touch. So let's see here. Yes. Cool. Okay, so that works. Another, inst uh, another way to get some gold for our system over here. Very cool. So if we throw this into here. You can't put them in here? No! That's so sad! Oh, shoot. Okay. Gonna have to turn that off. What can we... How do you double these? You don't. Oh, you put them in a crusher. Yeah, no thanks. We're just gonna have to pass on that one. Full ingot is fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a filter upgrade because we're going to need some heavy water here pretty soon. Uh, so let's go ahead and crush this stuff up. Okay, so I just need 10. That was a quick 10. Oh, wait. What do we need for a filter upgrade? <gasps> 10. Ah! I need to put that in a better spot. Tin tin plays for days and amazing. There's a tin 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 tin. Okay, so now that we got the right thing. 
filter upgrade. Okay. Buckets. Okay, each of these are going to get the filter upgrade. Now each of these will get the heavy water. We're going to put a water source beneath them. I'm oh, sorry, infinite water source beneath each of these guys. Okay. That's Gucci. So then we can come up with something like that. So they'll all be connected. There we go. All right, infinite water source. So now as soon as those things get power, we should be ready to go. Be kind of lame if they did. I mean, it says Renzo ignored, but I don't... There have been some things that, that should be... Well, okay, so no power there. Um, we may need to get underneath and check out something. Okay, they're all above water. They all have power. Um, hmm. Okay, so if you guys look here, you'll see that there's heavy water up in the top. Now, the reason that these guys don't look like they're working is because these pipes are so dang fast. Um, so let's see, if I do, whoops. Whoopsie. Um, let's just break these guys. Okay, we, add, we can't add speed upgrades to these, but as you can see, there is heavy water filling up in there. So that was what the issue was. We used too good of pipes. So I had to actually go ahead and get a second electrolytical separator. And uh, we're gonna go ahead, yeah. And we're just gonna put him uh, right here in front of these guys. Uh, so, go like this, and then he just he's just gonna go here. Yeah, actually, uh, let's move this out one more. Yeah, so he's gonna go here like so. We can put these pipes on. Yes, check that out, guys. We are getting the deuterium. Um, can we put uh, energy upgrades in here? Speed energy yes we can cool so i do have some more gold that has come in from our, our nether quarry so i'm gonna go ahead and get that processed up we're gonna get uh, a bunch of speed upgrades for those and that way we'll be able to uh just just be chill super chill how do you defeat a mini minotaur mini minotaur does he does us us the death the other check to die does us super fine yeah All right, so let's go ahead and upgrade these guys. Now we're going to go ahead and, and start with the, I guess we're starting with the speed upgrades. They're going to be fast. They're going to be really power hungry. Uh, but I guess, I guess we just got to send it really. All right, now for the energy upgrades. All right, so these use 400 FE per tick. Uh, this dude is like jacked up, uh, full of heavy and deuterium. Uh, so that's very cool. I'm gonna go ahead and close this thing back up real quick. Make it look a little bit better, even though it's cobble. Just looks like it's supposed to be there. Perfect, perfect. So if we look here, yeah, look at all this biofuel that we got. Throw that in there. Uh, hydrogen, how are you doing? You're not doing too hot. You need some speed and energy upgrades. You get a speed and energy upgrade. You get a speed and energy upgrade. Everyone gets a speed and energy upgrade. Check it out. So we're getting the substrate here. We're also getting the ethylene, which is what we need for the reactor here. Um, liquid ethylene and oxygen in this. We have made it. <gasps> what? Oh, wow, okay. Um, I was not expecting to get the HCPE sheets. I'm so excited. Very cool. So it's getting power from below. Um, it's getting the substrate. We need to pull the ethylene out somehow. Is that, how you, is that how you say it? Ethylene. I'm pretty sure that's what it's what it is. Um, does that extract out the front? I don't know what kind of fuel that is. 
fluids can't eject. Could be on this side, which would be a problem. Up the back, maybe? No. Okay, we're going to see is ethylene a gas. Oh, wait. Yes. Okay, so now we just need to configure this. <gasps> yes, ethylene. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Uh, ethylene and then oxygen. 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 Why are you having issues? Okay, the oxygen's still in here, but it's not coming over here. Did I do something on this side? Okay, this is set to configure gases. Red is import. Um, input. <sighs> well, no, 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 no. It's not an issue with this guy over here. It's an issue with this dude in the middle. This guy here. For some reason. Input. This one doesn't have anything. Does it need to be on the top maybe? No. Makes ox y gen. No, don't go in there. This is the one thing. Push. Mm, just go to turn, turn. The one thing about mechanic mechanism I hate. Some of these machines are so stinking difficult to use. Oh my gosh, we need to make this into liquid form. Okay, so we need to make this guy in order to. Oh my gosh, I have been. Staring at this, banging my head up against the wall for like an hour now, trying to figure out what the frick is going on with the ethylene. But now I know, and it's all this rotary condenser's fault. Just kidding, it's become my best friend. <laughs> it's like, hey, you know, I know you're having an issue. I know you're not able to do the things you want, but if you just use me, I can, I can be your friend. And I'm like, oh, oh, it's you, Dale. I get it. All right, so we're going to take this out here. Uh, we're going to actually just pretty much... Boop. Is this the one with hydrogen in it? Oxygen, yes. Okay, so this is the one we want. Put this guy here. Turn this into liquid ethylene. And then we're going to... Input, fluids, eject on, output. <gasps> we did it. Holy shoot, guys. That took forever to figure out. Oh, I have a headache just for trying to figure that out. Oh. So glad. <laughs> HDPE pellets. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. All right. 
that's not automated, but we can go ahead and automate that soon with just the the, the baked potatoes going in there. Uh, now, to make these guys, if we throw them in an enrichment chamber, it's a lot less. So, um, yeah, we're going to throw these in there. Oh, Elder Sword needs to be off for this. HDPE sheets. All right. Now we can go ahead and make this. <gasps> Just kidding. Where did that middle guy go? Aha, there you are. All right. And boom. It's been made. We've also got HDPE. I've discovered what the issue was way back when we were playing Stone Block 2. I had that same issue where I couldn't get the uh, the fluid into there. But if you just read the fluid the right way, <laughs> it works so good. Okay. So we're going to take this guy. Um, probably not that guy. Probably this guy. Uh, probably this guy. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, well. So, Solar Neutron Activator. Um, what are we trying to use with this guy again? Ah, yes, Trinium. The lithium goes into here, which is a fluid. How much do we got? Oh, it's full. Holy heck, Batman. Okay. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty sure it needs to be outside somewhere. Let's see, where do we want to put this? Ow. Dude, stop shooting me with the fire arrows. Okay, so we can't just put it there. Um, shoot. I'm trying to think of a really good way to do this. I almost wish I would have flipped these. Oh, freaking heck. Um, hmm. Hmm. We are just going to put this bad boy right here. Um, maybe actually like this. Gas, maybe? <gasps> yes. Okay. Liquid lithium. Okay, so do we need to convert it into lithium itself? Yes. Okay. So we need to make another one of these rotary condensers. Okay. Perfect. That was the issue. <gasps> Whoa! Crisis averted. Oh, gosh. Really, it really pays to, to pay attention. Okay, now I got to run power to this guy. Frick. Yes, we've done it. <gasps> yes, guys, look, tritium, and then this will be the out port, out the out thing. Oh my lord, it is finished. We have the two items we need for our fission reactor. We have the tritium over here, and then we have the the tritium over here, and the HDPE sheets. Look at all these HDPE. Oh my lord, guys, it has been a frickin' day. But yeah, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. It's going to be a heckin' long one. I got a lot of editing to do. So I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. We're going to be getting into the fission reactor next episode. So I hope you all are there for it. It should be pretty neat. I will see you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.